Los Angeles Police Department getting a new crime fighting dog, but not everyone's happy about it. It's a robotic dog like this one. The LAPD says it can help save lives, but critics worry it'll be used for spying. News Nation's Alex Capriello joins us live from Los Angeles with both sides of this debate. Hey, Alex. Yeah, hey there, Kelly. I would say that this vote did not come without a bit of controversy and certainly some healthy discussion from both the L.A. City Council members as well as the public that chose to speak on it. The overwhelming sense that I'm getting from people here in Los Angeles is that they feel that this really is an invasion of their privacy, raising some questions about whether or not this artificial intelligence is going to be spying on them or targeting minority communities. Take a listen to some of the sound from last night's City Council meeting. Say no to this robot dog. We know that we're not going to see Robo Rover pedaling up the streets of Brentwood or the Palisades. This is going to be deployed in areas where we blow up fireworks semis. Boston Dynamics, the maker of the $278,000 robot, says it's just not equipped with any of those weapons or facial recognition software that people are really concerned about. And the LAPD says it's not going to be used for routine patrol or covert surveillance operations. Instead, it's going to have capabilities to help the LAPD in high-risk situations. That list includes active shooters, assessment of explosive hostage, hostage situations, natural disasters, hazardous material assessments, barricaded subjects, and search and rescue missions. A Boston Dynamics expert was actually at the city council meeting last night. He shared one anecdote, a story that came out of New York where they were using a very similar robotic dog. It was a situation where a shooting suspect, uh, subject, actually, someone who had been shot, actually needed saving, and they took that robot dog inside of that area, realized that there was no longer any threat, cleared the space, and that's what allowed the NYPD to actually go in there and provide treatment, save that person's life. Wow. And Alex, you mentioned the robot dogs were used in New York City. Are we seeing this technology in other parts of the country as well? Yeah, this is what's super interesting about this technology, right? In NYPD, they rolled, rolled out a similar technology, but it was quickly withdrawn after receiving public backlash. We have seen reports, however, that a new robot dog uh, entered the force again last month for the NYPD. Similar thing happening in San Francisco as well. They had a robot dog uh, that was uh, deployed uh, for this new technology. But again, San Francisco residents really up in arms about that. They had to withdraw that technology. So no matter what we're seeing all across the country, we're seeing police forces really trying to push new technology that they feel like they could use in these high-risk situations, but it's not coming without some heavy heat from the public. All right, certainly both sides demonstrated there. Alex Capriello, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.